Welcome back everyone to the next video of our WordPress basics series where we were building our custom theme. Now we stopped when we had some basic styling for our navigation or when we added nav our navigation at all. Let me just run our project here so that we can see it again. Open it in a new tab. And over there we'll see our beautiful, beautiful application with our home about sample page and our footer and our yeah, basic post thing here. Now today there are two things we'll do. The first one is uh, we will tidy this up a little bit here, our post. We will make it possible so that we have a shorter excerpt on our front page and the full post only available on our single post page when we click on our post, which isn't possible as of now, which we will also add. Now, another thing is if we click on the about page here, we got this our posts headline here. And the same is true for a sample page. And this is obviously wrong because our posts are only here on our home page. Now, why, why is this our post headline showing up? Because we only got an index.php. Or in other words, which files do we have? We have our content. Well, this is where the content of our posts lives. So not really the headline or anything like this. Now we got our footer, our header, obviously other files, functions, totally wrong. So we only got our index.php. And what WordPress then has to do is render everything with the index.php. And this is the file where our post is written. So we will divide this file up, to put it this way, into different files. We'll add a home.php file, which will show our home screen. We'll add a page.php file, which will be responsible for rendering our pages. And we'll also add a single.php file, which will be responsible for displaying single posts. Now, these names, I didn't make them up. You have to use these names because they're part of the WordPress system and WordPress will look for these files in a specific order and we will have a look at this order right now. So let's Google for WordPress template files. And I think this uh, link here should help us, the template here, okay? And here, if we scroll down, we got this nice little picture here. So let's have a look at it. Well, what, we can see what actually happens. If we're going on our front page, it is first looking for a front page.php and then does some other checks and then it will continue to looking for a home.php for our front page. If it doesn't find it, it will take the index.php. If we have an archive page, we will go into archives in a later video. This is uh, an overview page when we filter for authors or categories. It will look for some specific pages first and for more generic ones next. For very generic ones like only author.php, category.php next, then for archive.php and then for index.php. Now if we have a single page like a single post, it will check for some, some special types first, then for single post.php, then, then for single.php. And for static pages, we can either provide a custom template, which we would then tell to use, or we got a default page template, which can then be page minus the name of our page, like page minus about.php, or page.php at least. And as you can see here, our blog post index page will also relate to the home.php and then to the index.php. So what I want to tell you is index.php is the template file here. WordPress will always fall back to if it doesn't find a more specific one, right? And this is why we, we need to provide a home.php, a page.php and a single.php to really be able to style it differently. So let's start by adding a home.php file, which will be for our blog index. And I'm copying our index.php code here. Now with our home.php added and the content of index.php pasted into it, if we refresh our website, 
Nothing changes, and this is because, well, we, we copied the code, right? Now let's see if the if actually in our template the home.php is used. So I just did inside home.php text here, and now this text should appear right here. Great. So we are now using our home.php and no longer our index.php. And this is exactly what we want. Now let's create a, a page.php file. Page.php for our, well, pages. And again, I will start copying this code here. But now there will no longer be written our posts. Instead, we want let's say the page title to appear here. How do we do this? WordPress got a nice little function for us. We put this function into PHP tags, obviously, and here we add WP title with no arguments. Now, if we save this and, ref and go to our about page here, we can see, okay, now we got about here with these two little arrows. Now, if we don't want these arrows, we can remove them by just entering anti quotation marks as argument. Now we only get about. Now obviously this might not look that nice because we can get about, about, about. But it's just to show you that we're now using different templates which again are flexible for which page is actually lo loaded. Like the sample page, the about page here. Now, if we wanted the about page to have, let's say, like a little box at the beginning, but not in the sample page, we could do this by adding another file, the page minus about.php. Now in this file, I will again copy this, but I will add this box here in the beginning. Let's say I just have a class of info box. I forgot that this does not work the way I'm used to from my local environment. No problem. Div info box here. And enter some lorem ipso info statement like I think this is enough. Now let's give it a basic styling. At the bottom of our style.css, the info box will have a border of, let's say, one pixel solid in gray, should have a border radius of three pixels, should have um, a background color of a very light gray, should have some padding of, let's say, 16 pixels. Um, Margin order should be centered. You also need to give it a width. Let's say like 200 pixels or 250 maybe. Mm, let's have a look at it. Oops, I also need to save it. I didn't save my page about pay PHP. That's why it found the file, but didn't find the changes we made to it. Okay, so we get our box here, but centering it was not my best idea now that I look at it. So let's remove the margin auto statement here. And now we got it here, but mm, it needs to be... Well, why don't we give it just, uh, let's say, 400 pixels here. Yeah, so now we got this box here and obviously you, you could uh, increase this or say like this should be 50% maybe so that it takes up more space. But the, the main thing is now we got our info box here, but we, when we click on the sample page here, it will disappear because this uses the page.php, whereas this uses the page minus about.php. Cool, huh? So back to our home page. We really want our posts to be clickable so that we can go to a single post and here we only want an excerpt to show up. So to do this, first thing I am going to do is save this change to home.php so that this inside home.php text disappears. And now I'm just copying this, opening it up on a note tab 
with WP Admin at the end that I can go to my admin panel. And now inside my panel, I can, first thing is I can update WordPress, but I'm not going to do this right now. I want to see my posts. So I got two posts at the moment. Hello world. And I want to have more text here. That's why I'm going to Google for lorem ipsum de in this case. But this is a nice site which just creates some dummy lorem ipsum text I can then paste into here. And a little bit more, like so. A heading between maybe. Let's give this bold, so yeah. Okay, this is one thing. And now I want to edit the other post then too. Oh, it's very slow today. The Cloud9 server is... It's been faster, but no problem. Can handle it. I want to go to my post title, post here, post content, and add my dummy text. Uh, maybe space this to the right and save it. Now, back on our homepage here, if we re reload it, we now get our whole post here. And this is clearly not what we want, right? We want more like a small introduction here. And then when we click on it, we want to go to the actual post. Now we got two ways to achieve this. Back to our editor. I'm going to this post here and we got the possibility to insert a read more tag. And I'm doing this after this first sentence here. Click this button. And now we got this more tag here. Now let's see what this does. Just save it by hitting update. Refresh our homepage here. And now you see this post has been shortened and we got this more tag here. And if we click on it, then we got our full post. Cool, huh? So this is one way to do it. Now, if we were to do the same for this post, this would look a little bit strange because our first sentence is pushed to the right and this would appear the same way. And it's also too short. So we got another possibility here. Let's go back to all our posts and edit uh, this one again. And in WordPress, we got the possibility to add a custom excerpt. Now you don't see an excerpt field here by default, but if you click on screen options and then check excerpt, now we got an excerpt box at the bottom. I can write here, this is a custom excerpt. And this text is obviously not the same as the text here above. And this is, gives us the chance to have a totally different excerpt than the text we're using for our main post. So I'm hitting update and refresh our homepage. And hmm, nothing changed. This is the case because we're telling it still use the content. And how, does it, how should it know that we want to see the excerpt and not the content? So we have to added something here in our content.php where we display the content and we have to do it here in this uh, position here. I'm going to add a PHP tag here and say if is single else And if. Now if it is a single post, it should display the content. Otherwise, it should display the excerpt. Another WordPress function. And now if I hit save and refresh this homepage here, we now see, okay, now we get our custom excerpt here. But now this doesn't work anymore because now we're overwriting its default behavior by telling it, okay, if it is single, use the excerpt and not the content anymore. Or put another word, it is still working where we're only seeing the excerpt, the first sentence here, but we no longer got our read more tag here. 
to add them, we have to go to our functions.php and add a new and add a new function like let's say add excerpt read more. This function takes as argument the excerpt and it returns the excerpt and adds to it basically whatever we want to add <laughs> at the end, which wouldn't have to be the read more tag. It could be any text or link we want to add. But in this case, I'm going to add the read more tag. So let's add maybe three dots. Now add our href equals some link we will have to figure out. Then the read more text, close our anchor, close our string. Now we will have to add this function and what we're doing is by using add filter and this is basically a function which is called when certain events happen in this case the get the excerpt hook and then it should execute the add excerpt read more function right now save this and refresh our home page now we got a read more link which isn't doing anything because we didn't set the anchor yet so let's do this now. Therefore, we have to skip out of our string. And now we somehow need to figure out what is the link to the single post. And thank God WordPress has a function for this. Namely, it's the get permalink function. And we need to pass an argument here because this function by default couldn't fetch the link we need. So we need to tell this function the, the link to which ID and therefore we use the get the ID function. Save this, refresh our home page and now if we click on it we're taken to our complete single post. Now as you might recognize actually we're currently not using single.php for our posts but this will still be rendered in our index.php and we will take care about this in the next video as well as with some more styling and other cool stuff. So hope to see you there. Have a nice day. Goodbye.